Do you have any idea of what do we do upstairs? Um, okay, to be quite honest, um, I know that um, Google is creating uh, websites for, for entrepreneurs and, and, and so forth. And I also know that you do shared space with other companies. Very good. I'm actually uh, very impressed, you know a lot. Welcome to 88 building, the most creative building in Cape Town. That's right, that's where we are, that's where we live, and that's where we work. But what we realize when trying to build these sites is that in order to fully utilize the functionality of Google Maps, you need to have quite advanced programming knowledge. So we at Easy to Map have created a map making tool which allows users to easily create beautiful and functional online maps without any code required. I think one of you mentioned that you wanted to hear about uh, what construction company does. We have one of the construction companies here. Afternoon guys. My name is Roy from Nero Builder. I've been in the construction industry for 16 years. And uh, this is Danny and Sebastian, our co-founders. It is a platform that connects homeowners and tradesmen via web and mobile. And what we found is we, through our marketing strategy, we took a company that was on the verge of bankruptcy, swung it around, doubled the turnover in one month. Now, we believe we can revolutionize the building and construction industry throughout the country by applying the same uh, tools and strategy that we used on this previous company. It feels like I'm singing in the shower and holding a bar. So. Hi guys, I'm Andrew from Cable Kiosk. I built an online electronics retailer in my dorm room in university. Um, subsequently, since coming to 88 a couple of weeks ago, we realized that uh, companies in South Africa simply cannot sell stuff online. So leveraging what we've built with Cable Kiosk already for selling everything from chargers to iPad accessories, we're going to work with some of South Africa's biggest companies and help them get online right. So um, what we love is uh, adrenaline sports. We are really passionate about this. And um, because we also travel a lot and we experienced that it was very difficult to book online uh, adrenaline sports. So that's how came out our uh, idea. Um, so what we are doing is to curate the best adrenaline sports on our platform and we offer them uh, to you uh, through um, an easy to use um, uh, tool. So yes, we're a family business. A few years ago we decided to take the plunge and invest in a property. We bought a flat together and we were surprised to find that although technology has moved into the social sphere very well and you can connect to people across the world, it seems there's still a big space in between the more practical tools. So I can connect to people across the world, my cousin in Australia, my aunt in New Zealand, but yet I, I'm not connected to the person that manages my home or manages my block of flats. When my geezer bursts uh, and my flat is flooded or the elevator's broken, I have to walk up 10 flights of stairs, I don't know who to contact. So what the Massive does is we connect the tenants and the residents to the owners, to the managing agents, so that we make sure that not only is your investment well looked after, but you also provide a good home. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Hakim. My business is called Liquid Crunch. Liquid Crunch is an online marketplace that allows small and mid-sized businesses to list the invoices and market and trade them on an auction platform to investors who will give them funds in advance. So what we're trying to do is demystify the process, strip it down to the bare bones so that SMEs can get answers quicker. Um, that would inevitably result in them becoming more sustainable businesses in the future. Thank you. My name's Neil. I'm from Homburg. With the ever-increasing cost of electricity and the scarcity of water, uh, finding ways to optimize your usage is becoming increasingly important. We've spent the last two years developing our product, which enables users to, through an online portal, um, 
monitor their energy usage, uh, control and finally optimize once looking at what they're actually using. Um, hi everyone, my name is Rahul Jain. I'm a co-founder with Peach Payments. So you've heard a lot of these companies talk about selling products and goods and services and connecting homeowners with builders, etc. In all of these, there's an element of payments involved. So they either need to accept payments from their customers or they need to pay out to their service providers and suppliers. So Peach Payments makes it easy for companies such as these to easily accept payments on their websites and um, pay out to their suppliers. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, my name's Paul. I'm from Zappa Cabs. Um, I've recently moved back to Cape Town from London, where I've been living for the past 25 years. And um, um, I don't know how many of you are regular private metered cab users, but um, my first experience using the service out here was somewhat chaotic. Um, so I did a little bit of research, and we discovered that the current model is that drivers are actually paying per kilometer whether they have a passenger on board or not which means that the dispatch services are actually incentivized to pull drivers from further away, even though there may be drivers that are closer for a, for a particular job. So we are looking at a model of empowering independent drivers outside of that system, not working on a per kilometer basis, but on a percentage basis per transaction that connects independent drivers with customers through a very simple mobile device. I feel like we're in therapy where we can only speak with the mic but it's not working clearly. <laughs> I'm Simba, that's my partner Simu, and we are from Wabona. We are... Can we speak to you? Is it working? Well, just keep it like this. Just keep it like this. What it works for the camera also. Don't mind. Are we doing idols? What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> anyway, please excuse the mic. <laughs> and what we do, we are Zimbabwean, and we couldn't find content that spoke to us, or so content from home. And we soon realized that there are a lot of Africans in the same boat you know, struggling to see themselves and in, in, to imagine themselves. Desperate Housewives, yeah, that's fun. Magnum, yeah, that's great. But I want to see something that looks like me. So we built Wabona, which is an online pay-per-view video streaming service that focuses on African, con African content, being videos, TV shows, documentaries for the African diaspora. Basically, giving people that connection to home using the internet. It's the greatest democracy in the world, and we are just providing content for people to see ourselves. Thank you. Uh, I'll give you a few names of our company okay. and tell me what you think they're doing. Okay. okay. Pitch payment. Venture capitalism. Cable kiosk. Uh, internet in remote areas. Very <laughs> Near builder. Uh, games. I think. Maybe. I could be wrong. Liquid Crunch. Smoothies. <laughs> Wabona. Something to do with photography. 